yourself a cup of coffee or tea and let's get into my knitting progresses. Okay, so every single vlog we always start with knitting so I thought I will mix it up a little bit and start this one off with some gardening and flowers. Uh, me and my husband actually went to a garden center today and uh, I needed some flowers because all the ones that I actually planted last year they all died out instead of um, instead the roses and peonies actually survived so i had to purchase a new ones and hopefully these ones will stay uh, longer than through the summer and i won't have to thin those but um, i actually have some planters that are usually hanging on the wall over there so this one will be going there i do also have a um a bike that i have to paint it we're currently in the process of actually changing our lawns so that is still in the process with my husband i'm going to be growing two tomatoes this year so we will see how that one will go and uh, i've also got some uh i don't know how these calls um sugar snaps or peas and i also will be growing some radish and um salad onions because my husband really likes them but I'm not the best at the gardening. I give it a try every single year and uh, this year it's actually really really rainy in England even though you can hear that it's actually raining <laughs> so we'll see how that goes but um, I will be trying to plant them and uh, hopefully I will have some vegetables to eat for me and my husband and uh, I'll be sharing some progress of how the actual planting will go so you will see that in the next footage. So I managed to plant the pot and then it started pouring down with rain. So I think this one will be, uh, I'll have to do it either today if it stops raining or I'll probably just do it tomorrow. So those ones will be just resting here until I can actually go out and plant them. So because it's actually wet and rainy outside, uh, we don't have a lawn at the moment so it's very slippery there so I've done as much as I could which is the two pots that are finally hanging. The vegetable ones I will be doing probably tomorrow as I don't think it will stop raining today and it will be too slippery on the mud um, and I just don't want to <laughs> fall down. So I'll probably be doing some knitting. I'm actually going through the trouble of not able to, not being able to find the yarn that I need for my sister's second sleeve because I am knitting uh, 10 rows of um, the color that went through the bodies. And I actually misplaced one of the colorways somewhere so I can't find it. So until I can find it, I can't knit it. Um, the top is all finished. The top is actually all done. I just need to take some pictures, but once again, it's actually really, really raining. And I can't imagine myself going out in the short top uh, anywhere outside, but it's all done. I need to wash it and uh, lay flat to dry. I've done a bit of here. Uh, there's some loose um, ice. Which is currently now looking through. Ramsey, are you taking me out of focus? He was. <laughs> so I'm not really happy with the way this one looks. Maybe, hopefully, in the wash it will straighten up. But I, this one is on the back, so I can't see. It. It's not going to bother me as much. It was a really nice and fun project. It was really, really short. Um, I've done it, finished it on Friday. Um, so currently it's Sunday and... I just need to wash it but this is how much yarn I've got left from the fourth ball Ramsey stop playing with it 
the troubles you have when you have pets <laughs> so I have to just wash it but currently it's so so cold um, we had a really nice day in the garden center with our friends today I've bought a lot of plants which you've seen before but other than that I think I'm just gonna go cuddle in the take a blanket and cuddle with Ramsey in front of TV, maybe do some cross stitching and just have a little relaxed time before the work week starts next next week which is tomorrow. So I'll catch you later. <laughs> so Ramsey is helping me to wash the top. <laughs> Ramsey. Ramsey, Ramsey, you're crazy. This is the wash that I'm usually using for all of my knits. It's quite good. Ramsey, you're such a naughty boy. Hey ladies. So I'm joining today with a bit of a wet hair. It's Monday the 17th of May. And uh, I'm having my cup of coffee. I'm letting my hair dry by themselves today because I've noticed that um, the heat is slightly damaging my hair. So the more I start to use the hair dryer, the more they get damaged. But the update of today is that I have actually found the yarn for my sister's cardigan. So here they are. Both of them I've got now so I can carry on knitting the second sleeve because the pattern testing is officially complete now. I do only have to take a picture. Um, it's all washed. Um, I just need to wait for it to dry and hopefully I will get a bit of a sunny day where I can just take the picture. For it, um, it's a very nice top. However, the weather is not really suiting it <laughs> at the moment. Um, so I'm going to be working on a bit of my um, cross stitching at some point today. Also, um, as you've seen yesterday, I was in the garden center. So on my lunchtime, hopefully it's not going to be raining because I need to pop outside to plant or everything that I left off yesterday. So um, the pots that are hanging from the side of our fence those ones I managed to get them in but it started raining really really bad in the middle of me doing it so I today I've went outside and I've noticed that one is a bit more in um, and the other one is more out so they look a bit uneven so I need to try to fix that one up um, there is the little bike that I do put plants in uh, that one needs a bit of a retouch of paint I've painted it last year and I need to paint it today, sorry not today, I need to paint it this year, but the white paint that I was using, um, my father-in-law actually taken for him because he needed something fixed, so I need to take the, um, the remaining paint to do a little retouch and then I can stick the little uh, pink flowers in there as well. Our garden looks really really messy at the moment. <laughs> But um, my husband has taken the decision to take all the grass out because it was um, not growing properly. It was really patchy. So uh, this year we decided to actually put the turf in. Um, we were thinking of doing that last year. But we decided to give it a try to actually grow it from the seeds and um, at the beginning it was really really nice so we have to do some treatment on the the ground before we actually lay the turf in and hopefully we will have a beautiful beautiful garden again because I want to uh, we've got a clever spa so I want to lay that one out so we can enjoy it in the evening so when the weather gets better but other than that I just wanted to have a little chat with you to sort of have a sit down introduction because yesterday was so crazy, uh, so crazy busy. My husband was actually waiting for me to film a video while he was sitting there and watching. So <laughs> we were having a bit of an argument because I said, you know, I don't want you watching me making a video because I'm not at that stage yet where I'm comfortable to talk in the camera like myself. Um, 
and it was really really funny because it was like yeah but you have to get used to you know me being around when you film um, and we were arguing for maybe 20 minutes and then by the time I've done the video and started planting <laughs> it started raining so um, yeah life happened and I couldn't finish um, planting anything but other than that I wanted to wish you a beautiful day or evening or morning whenever you're watching my video and I'll talk to you later with my progresses when I can the flowers that I said that are actually planted differently so this one is actually a bit more down in the ground and this one is a little higher up but well we've got them so I don't think I'm going to be touching them <laughs> and they will be like that I've also got some roses one is here one is over there and last year I planted also a peony and this one is thriving so hopefully at some point I will manage to see some flowers coming up here will be tomatoes and I will be doing some planting here as well oh real life it's raining again <laughs> 10 minutes ago it was nice and sunny I managed to put all of the vegetables there I've just got some tomatoes that are left to be planted I have went for tomato berry and tomato sun baby which are the yellow ones I can't remember which ones last year I planted I planted two types one were really really growing very well and we had a lot of them and one actually it wasn't giving much tomatoes at all maybe this year I need to note down somewhere but I've also got these ones Ta -da! so I thought I will pop on here and um, say a little hi to all of you as I'm kind of filming another vlog having my coffee my face has been really really um, dry lately and also my scalp I've got a really problematic scalp it's really really sensitive and uh, it starts itching um, if I wash my hair too much so it's also really oily, but it's also really, really dry. Um, I think I need to go and see a dermatologist because it's just starting to drive me crazy. The reason why I'm actually coming to have a little chat with all of you is to um, say that I'm quite excited for the evening today. <laughs> I feel like a little child. Um, Eurovision is actually on today. So I messaged my husband, I said, you know, I'm not going to be cooking today, uh, Eurovision is on, so we'll gotta get a takeaway and, you know, have loads of uh, delicious food and enjoy watching the show because Lithuania is on, it's currently, I'm not sure if actually, I think in England it's not as popular, um, in my country, um, everyone go crazy and they <laughs> almost everyone watches it. And um, today is semi-final one and we're actually the first ones to appear. So we'll be watching that. Um, hopefully we'll get through the final and we can be excited watching uh, the final on Saturday. Um, even though, even if we won't be then I'll still I'll I'll still watch it. I don't know, I like it. But on Thursday, for example, um it's a semi-final too. And I'm off actually on Thursday. So I might as well just go to the shop and just make some snacks and uh, we'll watch it. Um, I don't know if my husband will be watching it, but <laughs> I will definitely will be. So yeah, a little random insert <laughs> of Eurovision here. Hi, it's me again. So, uh, I'm having my morning coffee. So, yesterday we watched the Eurovision semi final one where Lithuania was performing, and uh, it was so nice to see a lot of people support us. We are a very small country, and usually we don't do very well in Eurovision, and I think. Um, I do enjoy watching the semi-finals because um, people are voting and it seems like it does make the difference. Um, with the final, um, it's just my own personal opinion, but I think there's so much politics. So um, I don't think we will, we will definitely not win. 
Um, so I, from my own personal perspective, if we would end up in the top 10, I would be really, really proud and happy um, because I don't think um, it matters what song you send and uh, usually the big countries win and um, I'm sure the big country will win this year as well. Um, I really enjoy Cyprus. Um, Everyone, there's so much hate going on now, saying that you know it's just a copy of Lady Gaga's song and uh, or Rita Ora. But I don't know. I just enjoyed it. The girl, um, even I mean, you can say that um, when a different person is performing, you can say you know she's copying this, she's doing that. But I would actually love to see a performer go in and sing and dance and perform to such a high standard that that girl did um, you know I think the song was really really catching it's of course it's not science it you know uh, in my opinion she was repeating the same <laughs> words all over again but I just enjoyed it so much and um, I was really skeptical about um, Ukraine's performance but um, you know, I, I seem to f f kind of like it now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know if you're watching, it's not really popular in England or um, many people don't actually watch it. I enjoy it. We had a, you know, nice evening with my husband. Um, my husband was actually watching it. He was impressed about the Lithuanian as well. He's usually, he doesn't really like Lithuanian performance that much, but he was like, you know, I've got to say it, it's not a bad song. Um, so uh, there is one on Thursday which we will watch and then on Saturday I'll probably maybe do some snacks and just maybe invite my sister over to watch it if she's if she's up for it um, but yeah we'll see so after all of this <laughs> rambling and I'm not sure if you actually enjoyed it but I wanted to talk about my current knits so I feel like it's all the same. I need to start something else, maybe some socks or, or something. But the priority for me at the moment is to finish my sister's uh, to finish my sister's actual cardigan. There's so much in my hair. Yeah. So my sister's cardigan. I had some trouble with not finding the yarn, but the yarn is all found and everything is good. But I am working through the sleeve. So the two colors that I had trouble in finding, uh, they all in and I am just working on the sleeves. But for the moment, all the power is going to my sister's cardigan. The video, not uploaded anything. And the remaining of my rest day, I'll be working on my sister's so sleeve. I've also got Susie from Elder Flower Stitches in the background. I'll be feeling a little bit more. So I'll um, just wrap up the vlog here. I'll enjoy Susie's vlog, um, work on some sleeves, and I will go to also finish this video, put it all together. So it's uh, ready to be uploaded tomorrow. I'll see you later. Stay safe. Bye.